Drake, just what were your thoughts on how you threw tonight? Um, I thought I started off a little slow, uh, getting behind in counts, but as the game went on, and I just felt more comfortable uh, second, third inning, and just getting out and attacking the zone. That's that's what really helped me uh, keep my pitch count down from the last couple starts, and it's always, it was working. Fastball was in the zone a lot today, the slider and the changeup even as well. Did you make any adjustments since last weekend? I did. I did. I made some adjustments with Brownie, some directional stuff. Um, feeling a lot better, filling up the zone a lot more, so it worked out very good. You look more comfortable throwing uh, to lefties tonight. How did you did you attack them differently? Um, kind of same game plan. Um, just just as I said, we worked on some stuff over the week, and the, the fastball was just coming out better. The fastball was was in the zone more, and it just wasn't pulling off the ball, and it was just it felt like I was last year. Do you have a specific game plan against this lineup, or were you just doing your own thing? Um, the game plan was just pass some, pitch to my best abilities. Uh, just pitch to how I pitch. Um, just going off. I think that's how we take every opponent. Um, me and Brownie talk it over, and when in doubt, just go, just go with my best stuff. And that's what we, that's what we talked about. And that's what I did. Yeah. When you got uh, the twenty seventh out, that dugout came out and rushed you like you'd won the World Series. What would that say about your teammates? How'd that feel? Oh, uh, it's it's great feeling. Um, when your teammates come out there, I mean, you really know that's when they care about you. And I care about all of them the same. And if any other any other pitcher did the same thing, I'd be the first one out there as well. I mean, it's. That's the first time it happened for me, and that was experience on that for you. How about JJ's throw from right field? That was that was awesome. That was that was one to see too. Um, he's done it before my freshman year at Clemson. He did that same thing, but to the plate. Uh, I remember it like it was yesterday, and he just did it right there. And that's going to be another one I'm going to remember. When he caught that, did you think he had a chance, or do you think that was too tough to, to bite off? I don't know to be honest. I mean, I think. I think any of our outfielders have a chance, no matter what. That's I got believability in all of them, all the people that are behind me, and he just threw a perfect strike. You'd endured some pretty long innings through your first five starts of this season. What do you think helped you keep him to five, four batters or less? I think it was attacking the zone. Um, my last four starts, four to five starts, it was just getting behind in counts, and then and then led to walks, and then just keeping keeping the three ball counts and full counts and just keeping t attacking the zone early and getting ahead on the on the batter was huge so that helped me uh, be able to throw all my pitches and get more swing and misses and so you said directional changes is that kind of mechanics yeah within the legs kind of I was pulling off the ball a little bit at first but then I just made some directional changes going towards the plate a little bit more and Kept, got my arm up and just everything was clicking together. You started going through that this week with Brownie. Was it something you felt right away? Right away, yeah. Felt right away. Felt super good. Um, started to feel like myself again. The past four starts, I kind of was walking a lot of people and it wasn't really like me. So I saw, me and Brownie looked at some film and just, just went over it and we corrected. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it.